so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i will be solving problem c that is interesting sequence the problem is from round 843 uh, so let's get started and see how we can solve this but before we move on to the solution i want to tell you guys about newton schools coding contest as you guys know newton schools does this coding contest every month and this month the name of the contest is code rush x and the prizes are better than ever before so you can win prizes up to rupees 10 lakhs and along with this you can win placement opportunities in top product companies so like if you guys want to play this for fun or you guys want to play this for placements that is totally up to you uh, the contest will be on 28th of january uh, it will start around 9 pm and the contest will be three hours long so there will be ample amount of time for you guys to brainstorm and solve good quality problems so if you guys want to benchmark yourself or just win some placements this is a very good opportunity I will leave a link to this contest in the comments and in the description so you guys can go and sign up from there and show or you can flex how good you are at problem solving. So now let's move on to the solution. So in the problem we have been given two integers n and x. Both n and x can go up to 10 to the power 18. Also we have been given an operation right uh, bitwise and of n, n plus 1 and n plus 2 so on up to some value m is equal to x right so we know the value of n and we know the value of x and we have to find the smallest value of m such that this equation is satisfied or we have to report that uh, such a value of m is impossible right so we have to find the smallest possible value of m that satisfies the equation or print minus 1 if it's impossible or minus 1 if it's impossible so let's see how we can solve this right this is a very easy problem so let's move on to the solution the only observation that we need to solve this problem is that your bitwise and operator is a decreasing operator that is our bitwise and operator is a decreasing operator now what it means is that like if you increase the number of operands your result will always decrease right for example uh, let's say we have value of a and b and c is equal to some value x so if you int introduce some new operand let's say you introduce a new operand d right so you do a and b and c and d then your result will change from x to some value x dash then you can definitely say that your new value x dash will always be less than or equal to x right so if you increase the number of operands your result will always decrease so you can see that uh, say that greater the number of operands smaller will be the result now how can we use this uh, to answer our problem so if you see we have been given the equation that n and n plus 1 and n plus 2 so on up to and m is equal to x let's say we introduce a new value here m plus 1 right that is we add one more value here we add m plus 1 so the result will change from x to let's say x1 then you can definitely say that your x1 will be less than or equal to x right because you have increased the number of operands so your result will always decrease or be equal to the previous value <coughs> similarly similarly we have n and n plus 1 and n plus 2 so on up to and m is equal to x let's say this time we decrease the number of operands right let's say this time we remove this m so if we remove this m your result will go from x to some value let's say x2 and as you as you are decreasing the number of operands this time your result will increase right so you can say that your value x2 will be greater than or equal to x right so this kinds of gives us a hint so like if we try to draw a graph for this so let's plot a graph so on the x axis let's put the value of m and on the y-axis let put the AND value 
we will have the end value from n and n plus 1 so on up to m right so y axis contains the end value and your x axis contains the value of f of m initially when your value of m will be equal to n your end value will be n only and as you keep on adding more operands your end value will decrease right your end value will keep on decreasing so something like this at some point your end value will reach x at some point let's say this is your value x so at some point your end value will reach x right so let's say this is x so now our end value has reached x and we have to find the corresponding m value right so this value will be our answer right this will be our answer value because for this corresponding value our end value has reached x and as you can see this graph is monotonous right it is decreasing from one side to the other so this gives you a hint that we can apply binary search on this so we can find the bitwise end and if the bitwise end is like more than x that means we are on the left side so we can increase our left boundary and if bitwise end is less than x that means we are on the right side and in this case we can decrease our right boundary right so this gives us a great hint that now, now we can easily apply binary search on the value of m right so let's do that so our value of m will start from n right so the left value initially will be n and our maximum value right can be up to 5 into 10 to the power 18 right this has been given in the problem itself so like if you read the statement Right, we have been given that your answer will not exceed 5 into 10 to the power 18. You can also prove this like if you do some bitwise operations, you, you can e easily prove this as well, right? So our left value will be n and our right value will be 5 into 10 to the power 18. Then you can find your mid value. Your mid value will be left plus right by 2, right? Then you can check if your bitwise and if your bitwise and from n up to mid right if your bitwise and of n up to mid is less than is less than x that means we are on the right side in this case you can shift your right boundary to the left side right so you can say your right is equal to mid minus one let's say this is your current value right so if your current value is less than x you can push your right boundary to the left side if your current value is greater than x that means we are on the left side so in this case you can say your left is equal to mid plus one and if your current value is equal to x if your current value is equal to x that means we have found some answer but we we, uh, we need to find a smaller answer as well right so you can say your answer is equal to mid value but like there can be a smaller answer as well right so we can we can again shift our right boundary to the left side so you can say your right is equal to mid minus one that is you can store this answer but go on the left side to find a smaller answer if it's possible. So these are the three cases of the binary search. Now the thing is how do you find the bitwise and from a range in n to mid? This is a very well known problem. You can do some mathematical analysis and you can solve this on your own as well. But uh, to find a bitwise and of range from L to R is a well known problem. You can find this on geeks for geeks I will not go that much in depth because there are separate videos for this. So I would recommend you guys to watch this video by Ericto. Uh, I will show it to you guys. So here's a video by Ericto in which he's solving the same problem. So like you guys can go into this video and see how you find a bitwise range, uh, the bitwise end of a number range, right? So that is the entire solution and how you can implement this. So if you guys want to see the code for this, I will show you guys the code as well. So here's the code, we will take in two values, uh, n and x, my l left value is n and my right value is 5 into 10 to the power 18, my mid is l plus r by 2, my value is and operator n to mid, that is I will find the bitwise and of a uh, range n to mid and this and operator is just like a geeks for geeks implementation, right? I just copied this off geeks for geeks, but you can, you guys can implement this on your own as well after you guys see the video for Ecto, right? So you can find the end of this range and if your end is less than equal to x so we'll check if value is equal to equal to x then you can set your answer is equal to mid and you can shift your right point to mid minus one otherwise you can shift your left point to mid plus one. and in the end you can just print out your answer so basically i just combined these two cases 
so i just removed this case and i just removed this case and i said if my current is less than equal to x check if my current is equal to equal to x in this case set my answer equal to mid but like you can just shift your right end point right your right will be equal to mid minus one anyways so like that was in my implementation so that is the entire solution and if you guys have any doubts feel free to ask in the comments or then my discord server i'll be more than happy to answer your doubts there and i will see you guys in the next one Bye bye